Guatemala's fight against corruption intensified on Tuesday with the arrest of a former president and nine of his ex-ministers. Alvaro Colom and members of his cabinet are suspected of having embezzled funds and committed fraud while helping set up a public bus system in Guatemala City in 2010. Como Presidente de la República, Alvaro Colom, as President of the Republic, in accordance with the Constitution, is the guarantor of managing public finances. He intervened personally and institutionally to facilitate the fraudulent procedure of creating the agreement. Prosecutors said there are questions around how the government auctioned off concessions and granted subsidies for the buses. The current chairman of Oxfam International and former Guatemalan finance minister Juan Alberto Fuentes was among those arrested. Fuentes' detention comes as Oxfam is already reeling from a sexual abuse scandal in Haiti and elsewhere. Guatemala is no stranger to corruption scandals. Over the past decade, international investigators have been working with local prosecutors to peel back the layers of corruption that plague this small Central American country. In 2015, mass anti-corruption protests helped oust former president Otto Perez Molina. He's now on trial, accused of stealing millions of dollars from the country's customs offices. Current president Jimmy Morales tried to kick out the head of the International Commission Against Impunity in Guatemala after he pushed to remove Morales' immunity to face prosecution in another graft investigation. Analysts say these political arrests are far from over. I think the Commission Against Impunity in Guatemala and the Attorney General's office are just scratching the surface. Without a doubt, there are many more investigations underway, which will take years to uncover. The upcoming selection of a new Attorney General will be pivotal if these investigations are to continue. Experts say Guatemalans need to be vigilant to ensure the country's next top prosecutor has their interests at heart and not those of the political elite. David Mercer, Al Jazeera, Guatemala City.